Ammonia is the most traditional catalyst, and it's the most effective. It works the best to open your hair and get the color inside, right? But when the ammonia-free talking point came on the market, manufacturers said, what can we replace the ammonia with so that we can sell more hair color and call it organic? So they started using something called MEA. MEA is not as strong as ammonia. Mm -hmm. So ammonia works great. It's the five-star worker. MEA is only half as strong. So you need about 10 times more MEA than you would ammonia. So if you're using a color that's ammonia free, it's actually got the same alkalizing quality because I'm using 10 times of this to get to the strength of this. So these are what we call alkalizing agents. When someone talks about ammonia and ammonia free, I totally remove the word ammonia from my vocabulary and I call it an alkalizing agent or a catalyst because mm -hmm. it's designed to raise the pH levels to create that. Which you have to do. Exactly. Yeah. Which you have to do in a, in a hair color situation, right? Now, when you're using something like Shades EQ or Rust Demi or Alpha Parf Colorware, you're using an MEA-based hair, it used to be MEA, now it's Argentine. Um, you're using an MEA-based hair color already. That's, MEA is not strong enough to lift your cuticle and get into the cortex. It opens the cuticle in a demi situation. You're not using 10 times the amount. It only takes 10 times the amount of MEA to make a color permanent color environment. In a demi permanent color environment, this is very gentle because all it's doing is popping the cuticle and shoving and, and forcing the molecules to explode in between the gaps in the cuticle. That's why Shades EQ washes out in a week and a half because all the molecules are exploded in the cor in the cuticle layer. They're not in the cortex. Because all we did was slightly open the door. We didn't bust the door open completely. So in a demi situation, it has a little bit of ammonia. In a permanent situation, ammonia-free hair color has a lot of ammonia. Well, we decided how can we manipulate the science to make a better alternative to this? Why does it have to be one or the other? Why can't we use this is not the correct spot. <laughs> Why can't we use both of them? <laughs> I made that up just now. I thought it would be funny, but no. <laughs> Sorry. Why can't we use both of them? So what we decided was instead of using one or the other, why don't we use both in our hair color? Because if we have a little bit of this and a little bit of that, we can get the same alkaline environment in a permanent color situation by having half the ammonia and half MEA to create the same alkaline environment that you would get from a lot of MEA or a lot of ammonia, right? So in our permanent hair color, you have two catalysts. One is a gas and one is a chemical. Ammonia explodes and dissipates. MEA stays active for the whole 30 minutes, right? So your color, when you mix it in a bowl and it oxidizes, that's because the ammonia is leaving the bowl, right? MEA never oxidizes. It oxidizes, but it stays active until you wash it out. If I left ammonia-based hair color on your hair after 30 minutes, it's not gonna go much further. MEA will continue to fill in positive, fill in positive. That's why Shades EQ, you only leave it on five minutes because you're flash toning. If you leave it on 15 minutes, you're getting a lot of deposit because it's continuing to be active, right? So we use ammonia and MEA in our hair color. For that reason, you can use it as a multifunctional tool because ammonia will only activate at 10 volume or higher. Because 10 volume is 3% gas. It takes 3% gas to explode an ammonia molecule, right? So when you're using the Fiaba color with 10 volume, you're ammoniating it at its lowest level. 
So if you're going for a deposit only tone on tone, you could use 10 volume and it will be beautiful. If you're going for gray coverage, you're gonna activate the ammonia a little more to get deeper into the cortex and do a gray coverage situation, stellar gray coverage, right? But if I wanted to use the fialba color as a demi-permanent hair color, I need 3% gas to do that, to get it permanent. But with an MA, a demi-permanent hair color that's MEA based, I don't need ammonia because it'll lift too much. So we make a developer that's called three, two, one. And this refers to the ratio or the parts, right? So our three, two, one developer is 1.5% gas or five volume, right? Three, two, one developer at 1.5% gas renders it virtually ammonia free because this will not explode at anything that's lower than 3%. Oh, okay. So you're making it ammonia free by mixing it with the 321. Okay. You're only activating the MEA and that's what turns it into a demi. Right. When I do that in equal parts, I'm getting the strongest amount of MEA action. So I'm gonna get a nice solid fill. When I'm doing one part color to two parts developer, I'm gonna get a traditional demi like your Rusk and your Colorware and your um, Matrix. Is that what you said? I use, the, I use Soap Color. So oh, yeah, right. So, so, color Sink. So the, yeah, Color Sink is, the, yeah. The, so two parts color to one, to two parts developer to one part color is gonna be your traditional Denny, right? Three parts developer to one part color is diluting the MEA so much that you're just making it a tone on tone gloss that's not even gonna break it. So one three ounce tube of color can be a permanent color, a demi-permanent color, or a tone on tone gloss without breaking a base, right? It's a three ounce tube for how much is it, Audra? Six, no, eight. It's either 875. It's like 875. Right, 875 for one tube of color. That can be all three things. That's why I like it for people that are independent stylists and booth renters, because it's low inventory. You don't need two different tubes to do two different things, right? More importantly, aside from being cost effective, it's a great filling tool. <coughs> and it's a great longevity hair color, right? Does everyone understand this part of it? Mm -hmm. The ammonia versus the MEA? Mm -hmm. And how we were able to utilize mm -hmm. both of them in our permanent color. So rather than have one line of color for permanent and one line for demi, you can make ours both. Um, because we manipulated the science. Instead of saying ammonia or ammonia free, we can use a little bit of both, right? So that's what makes it different than Alpha Parf, because Alpha Parf's permanent color is ammonia. And then their color wear used to be MEA, now it's Argent. The new color wear is amazing. I love that stuff. Um, <clears throat> like Alpha Parf, we use what we call ultra fine pigments, they call them micro pigments, we call them ultra fine. And they just happen to be ultra pure. So what that means is our color molecules themselves are calibrated to be the purest form of whatever level they're at. So like your 8N, your 7N, your 6N, your 5N. Are all neutrals have a, a ratio of red, yellow, blue in them, right? 